My name is Barry Shalmashi. And you told me you were a filmmaker from I'm, Holland? I'm a filmmaker from Holland and I'm here to work on a couple of uh, screenplays right now. You told me you were born in Paris. Do you speak French? And then how did you move to uh, Holland to uh, study filmmaking? Uh, we moved to Holland when I was pretty young. So basically I lived in Holland almost all my life. When I was about 18 years old, me and my friends started making short films and so one day we were, we were on our own film set and we made rain. We had two cars and everything and uh, we had rain machines and that's when I fell in love with filmmaking so I decided to go and study film. And I applied for a film school in Amsterdam and I got enrolled which is pretty amazing since they only accept six students a year. So, and now it's five years ago and I'm already working in filmmaking. I've Are you making films. full features uh, versus I'm shorts? I'm working on my first two future films right now and I have my first TV film is going to premiere this autumn. Holland. What are you doing in Los Angeles? You said you studied in UCLA. Uh, I studied in UCLA last summer, for only for a couple of months. And I think LA is not only amazing because of the weather and all the Starbucks coffee you can get on the corner, but also for the film climate, of course. Right. Uh, how is filmmaking different in Holland? I know of Paul Verhoeven. Uh, his yeah. movies are very wild, uh, yeah. different. Uh, European films have a different rhythm uh, than American film. Are you bringing that kind of style uh, to your uh, work? What I'm trying to do is combine the RT style that Europe uses with the commercial style that America uses in order to have the audience actually watch my films. Because that's the thing that people in Holland, filmmakers, forget too often. It's like they make films for themselves. They're beautiful, right. but they don't have any audience. What about directors inside Iran? Rakhshan Bani Etamad, Kiaru Stami, are you familiar with their work? Of have course, you uh, yeah. been influenced by them? Definitely. One of my favorite filmmakers is Bahman Khobadi. Oh, but he's Kurdish. Yeah, he's Are you Kurdish? Kurdish? I'm Kurdish. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I love his work. He's, he's really one of my favorite filmmakers. Oh, he does wonderful work. Huh? Yes. He's in trouble now. It's a documentary he made on the rap music yeah. in Iran. It's a beautiful documentary. <laughs> I saw right. it a couple of weeks ago. And yeah, I'm definitely influenced by Iranian cinema in general because they have to use metaphors in order to tell their story and right. that's uh, cinema language is all about showing with the pictures and since people in Iran don't have the chance to speak about how they feel you can show it with pictures that's why Iranian cinema is so strong you like Iranian cinema what's in the future for you? I, I hope I, am, I will continue like this and I will be able to make long films that people will love to watch all can we talk about politics, uh, elections in Kurdistan, in Iraq? Yeah. Uh, what do you think about an independent, autonomous Kurdish state? Honestly, in my opinion, I don't know if that's the most important thing for Kurds right now. The most important thing is, and I think maybe that's for the, for the entire Middle East, as long as people, wherever, in what country they live, have the rights to be themselves, Right. to choose for themselves that's more than enough and it counts for Kurds, Persians, Ar Arabs, Lurs, Lurs Baluchis, everyone as long as you have your, the freedom within the country you live that would be a good start. Great, thank you so much.